Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 2. Here we have a car. Oh man, it's been so long I don't remember what I was doing. Okay, here's Harold's assistant. I still got my friends. What was I doing? Let's go to Vault City for a minute, shall we? We shall travel to the inner city. Pardon me. Good to see you, citizen. Yes, if you're a citizen, you can just come on in. I guess they're letting Cassidy in. Even at night, so that's good. Now let's see if there's a certain man around here. A man we need to talk to. No, he appears to be gone. I need to pass the time. Wait. I just saw his dialogue pop up, but he's not here. Okay, well, let's just wait. I guess I can't rest here. Let's go back outside the city and wait for the man to reappear. Because I'm going to do a quest for him, and that will be the extent of this video. The quest for the crazy man. Okay, he's not crazy. Alright, I think to be able to rest, we must go outside the city here. City of tight asses. At least I ain't out in the wastes. Hmm. Alright. We'll rest until morning. Now that it is morning, I'm hurting pretty bad. You got any stims? No. wonder how bad Cassidy's hurt. We did go through some rough times. Good day, citizen. Oh, that was a girl. Or was it? There he is. Perfect. Now, I remember talking to him before. Let's see if I have already made him angry. Hello and welcome, traveler. Have you heard the word today? Ah, uh, why no, I haven't. The word, my friend, the word! Bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. I got a bird, bird. No. The word is selfishness. Mix in a slew of arrogance, and what do you have? Vault City, and all its self-righteous slave-trading glory. Hmm. Amen, brother. It is time to hear the wailing of our kin outside these walls and let them in. We have more than enough to feed and shelter our brothers. We need not be rich when so many are poor. I hear you. Friend, as I look upon you today, I see strength. I see faith. Do mine eyes deceive me, or do they see a kindred soul that shares my cause? Damn right. Then let me ask you this, my friend. To what lengths would you go to spread the word? <laughs> no lengths are too long, no distance too great. When the cause is just and the word is true, whatever needs to be done, I will do it. Even though it may mean banishment? from this oasis? Mm. Anything to release my fellow man from his bonds. He leans in. I have a briefcase with information vital to our cause. Will you deliver it to New Reno for me? I would do it, but the citizens here are watching me. <laughs> yeah, anyway, this is very important. Sure, give it to me. Here it is. Deliver this to a man, John Bishop, in New Reno. Tread carefully, my child, and carry the word with you. Deliver this briefcase to John Bishop, no problem. All right, now this is important because John Bishop is an angry man. Moore's briefcase. Have you heard the word today? Yes, I have heard the word. And we shall deliver this wordish bird thing this is important because it's um one way that you can do other things in the game without getting killed by John Bishop's men, and believe me, they'll kill you. Oh yeah, Cassidy, um, how are you doing? Um Ah oh, man, I forget combat control. Here we go. How are you? Thirty three out of eighty. Eh, you're okay. He's got a sharpened spear, though. That's stupid. What else you got? Got a sawed-off shotgun. 
You've got a desert eagle and you're not using it? I guess he's got no ammo. Hold on a minute. Oh, I've got no ammo either. Huh. What else you got? Desert Eagle 44. Dang. We need to get you some stuff, Cassidy. You can't walk around with a spear. That's lame. I really need to upgrade my, my followers. They could use some guns. Guns! I don't know what I'm doing with my voice today. I'm probably going to kill it, and then I won't be able to record anymore. Alright, now, where's New Reno? Reno, whatever. Redding. The Den. Ghost Farm. Do we even have it? We should. Yeah, New Reno. Where is it? Well, let's go back to Gecko real quick. Settlement. And let's get in our car, shall we? Alright, uh, to New Reno, please. Hey, we passed some place. Hey, Broken Hills. Watch yourself around here. Locals ain't too friendly. Welcome to New Reno! Have we been here before? I don't remember. I don't think so. Welcome to New Reno, the biggest little town in the world. Trash can fires and neon signs bathe the city in a hellish glow. Alright, uh... Cat's Paw sign. You see Sheb. Booty, booty, booty! Good god, that was the best. What? Yes, you are Columbus. I am America. Uh, what is this place? Hello? The woman before you is stunningly beautiful. As you address her, she looks up from her work and smiles. Ah, a new face. I'm Miss Kitty. Welcome to the Cat's Paw. What is your pleasure today, sir? I'm looking for some at. No! I'm actually here to ask you some questions. Sure, what do you have? Um... No. I, I better get going. That's... that's... this is crazy. Come on in, booty lovers! That a car? Damn! Hey, you looking at my car? Friend, you and me got to have some words. Let Jewel show you around. Smiles, displaying a gleaming gold tooth. His cologne is so strong it almost chokes you. Welcome to the glittering city of New Reno, my brother. And you are? Name's Jules, and I'll be most pleased to make your acquaintance, show you around, and set you up with whatever you're looking for. Uh... Look, Jules, is it? You obviously expect something out of this conversation, so level with me up front. What are you looking for? Jules' smile dies. I'm looking for people like you coming into Reno. This is the prime spot to deal, plus certain establishments pay me to point, you, point newcomers their way. That a good enough answer for you. Yeah, now I just need you to answer some other questions. I can get you anything you need, brother. If you need to fly, get high, slide down low in a luscious hoe. Uh, I can't. <laughs> I can't read this dialogue. That was terrible. Jules knows where to go. Question is, I got the treasure. So what's your pleasure? Okay, quit rhyming, Jules. All right, tell me a little bit about Nurino. Can Jules tell you about New Reno? Hell yes! First thing you should know, Reno is ruled by four families. Mordinos, the Salvadores, or Salvadores, I don't know, the Bishops, and the Wrights. Phoenix Wright. Each of them got a slice of the Reno pie. Well, tell me about the families. Well now, another thing you gotta know about New Reno is nothing's free. If it is, ex... examine the merchandise. Pay him a hundred chips. Actually, I had some other non-family related questions. Sure thing, sure thing. I got the treasure, so what's your pleasure? Hmm, where can I get some chems? No, I'm not looking for that. I'm looking to buy some heavy firepower. Yes, indeed. I hear you, brother, I hear you. You want the best. Go see my man Eldridge in the West End. He's got shit that'll kill people you ain't even met yet. Tell him I sent you. 
I see I had some other questions. I'm looking for supplies. You need some supplies. Well, you can go see Rensko up on the West End, but there's the catch. Don't buy no camps from him, because they ain't safe. He got supplies, all right, but if you want camps, talk to me. All right, keep that in mind. I had more questions. I want to get laid. No, I don't. Not, no, not here. Um, I'm looking for a place called Vault 13. You mean Vault City, don't you? That's to the northeast. Can't miss it. All the caravan trails lead right to it. Wow. No, that's not what I meant. Um, let's see. I'm looking for a Garden of Eden creation kit. Garden? What? That's some kind of camp? What does this garden thing do? Get you high? No, it's... Well, never mind. I had some other questions. Dur -dur 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 -dur. Nothing today, thanks. He wanted a hundred caps. Well, I guess I could spare a hundred, but you know what? Not right now. Um, here's a place where you can get some free armor. Wait. Um, uh, no, not here. I I don't know what this place is. There is a place around here where you can get some free armor. Uh, New Reno. This is. This is a terrible place. This. Many people don't like it because it breaks the atmosphere some people feel. Do I agree with them? Not really. But that's just me. Reno, the biggest little city in the world. Let's head in, shall we? Here we go, the Golden Globes Porn Shop. Yeah. This is where you can get some free, um, a free suit, I believe. Um, I think you can just pick it up. I think. Although I do have better... Let's save my game just in case. Yeah, save there. Now let's just pick it up and... We're good. No one's attacking us. Uh, rad scorpion limbs, a cattle prod, and a lighter. Lovely, lovely. Let's go over here. Stay away from there! Please stop bothering me. I'm trying to memorize these lines. I'm sure it's very difficult for you. Let's pick up this. It's, uh, robes. You'll probably remember those robes from the first Fallout game. Yes, indeed. Let's go to that bookcase, see what's in there. Stay away from there. Fine. What's in here? Stay away from there. Fine. Look, Leather Bunny, if you don't have your own whip, the brothers won't even give you the time of day. What? Alright. It's a very awkward place. Let's go over here. Darn! The one thing we could search and nothing's in there. What's in here? Nothing. Apparently I'm at my maximum weight capacity. Now, this guy down here, I believe, can tell you some things. But I don't remember. The Karskian brothers are at your service. Glances up, irritated. You the new fluffer? Do not say yes. What is this place? This old place, this here's the Golden Globes, a film studio. Probably the only one still erect and standing. Ah, this dialogue. <sighs> Probably the only one still erect and standing in the world. But enough about this place. You looking for a job, pal? We need talent like you. Um. Uh, I'm scared. How do you film? I mean, come on, you need cameras, film projectors, where would you get all that stuff? We lucked out. We don't need any of that Stone Age crap. We stumbled across a working uh, holographic projector. No bulky equipment, no fuss, and no unsightly mess. Okay, well, I'm interested in a job if you're still offering. Ugh. I changed my mind. No, I don't want to head to the back and start waxing the shafts. 
No. What? What? No, this is terrible. No, this is just became M-rated to the a million degree. My baby ain't coming home. Ah, the boxing ring. You can do some things here, but <laughs> if I remember my character, strength at four, yeah. Maybe if your strength's at ten, you guys can come around here. You see a pimp. He's pimping or something. Okay, now, if I remember, we're looking for... What's his name? Thomas More asks you to take this Brahmin hide briefcase to the Bishop family in New Reno. It's, se it's securely locked, and you can't seem to open it. It weighs five pounds. Casino's inside. Inside. Stupid travels. Alright, so here's a casino. Not sure which one this is, but I think this is Bishop's. It seems familiar. I'll know, it's, I'll know if it's bishops in a minute or two. Um, I never gamble in these games, just saying. Um, Cassidy seems to... Okay. Yep, this is bishop's place. You see her? Angela Bishop. She is a whole mess of trouble. I mean a whole mess of trouble. Yes, let us save. Walk past her. Don't let her talk to you. Whew. I'm hitting the bar after work. Oh yeah, um, you can get in here, this um, metal door here. It's uh, locked, but there is some great stuff in there. I'll be getting that later. You got some business upstairs, pal? Yeah, I'm here to see Mr. Bishop. I have a suitcase for him from Mr. Moore. The guard steps away for a moment, opens a panel on one of the walls, and whispers something. He waits for a minute, listens, then turns back to you and shrugs. He says you can head on up. Alright. I don't remember how this turns out, but I think it turns out good. Hello? Studies you. Even under all that getup, you still look like one of them travels. <laughs> the boy said you got a briefcase for me from a mutual acquaintance. Let's see it. Uh, here you go. He opens the briefcase, checks the contents, snaps it shut. It's for more, all right. Says you check out, travel. Lucky for you, smiles. You came up in here with a bad rep, and you're asking for a quick trip to the sky. What? I come in here with a bad reputation? Am I hated in New Reno? What did I do? Hold your horses, travel. We ain't even discussed payment yet, studies you. So where do you know more from? He trying to play politics amongst the tribes now? <laughs> that boy missed his calling. I met him in Vault City Spring. The word I offered to help him out by delivering the briefcase to you. Okay. Ah, damn human, are you? For all his preaching, old Tom Captain Moore can't seem to step off his soapbox long enough to actually do any legal work. <laughs> still, that don't make him any different from any other NCR boy. He does preach a lot. Still, he seems to make a lot of sense. Yeah, well, at some point the work's got to be done, and they call me to make sure things get delivered. Like that briefcase. To himself. Of course, being able to whip a crowd into frenzy ain't too bad if we're going into politics studies you suspiciously. You ain't NCR too, are ya? Tomcat's about the only one of them I can stand for the moment. No, I'm just a traveler. I agreed to help more out because I needed work. Ooh, you gained 500 experience points for that. Nods at the case. Well, this briefcase was worth it. A little slice of the vault city's inside. Some of that precious tech that frigid bitch Lennett doesn't want to part with. But hey, travel, I ain't paid you yet. Here's your cut. Hmm, say, I don't have any other jobs lined up at the moment. Do you have any work for me? Checks you out for a moment, then nods. Yeah, I got a job for you. I have this problem down south in NCR. This fellow, Weston, he's got a big mouth that needs to be shut. Permanently. Half a grand. Easy money. No problem. This Weston is good as dead. 
Hold on, I ain't finished telling you everything yet. I want this guy dead, but it can't look like he was aced. Don't put a bullet in his skull. Don't stab him to death. Don't do anything that smells of a hit. Because... Because that's the way it has to be done. You piss off anyone down there, make them think that I had anything to do with that son of a bitch kick in the bucket. And I'll make sure no one can identify your corpse. How the hell am I supposed to whack somebody and not make it look like a murder? That's your problem, Travel, not mine. Do some mumbo jumbo, mix up some poisonous plants, slip it into his drink, choke him in his sleep, push him off the building. I don't care. Just so it doesn't look like a hit. Let's see these choices. Done. I'll be back after Weston has his accident. If you don't want to put a bullet in his skull, that's going to raise the price a little. Mm, if I say that, he might get angry at me. Let's try it. I'm already paying you more than your life's worth, Travel. Don't push me. A thousand or nothing. This is a special job and I got expenses. I got to get to NCR, arrange the accident, and most likely have to shell out some more cash for some special accident-prone items to get things done. So don't push me, alright? That seems to be a special option because it's so long. He might agree, he might not, but I'm thinking he will. I don't remember getting this option before, so... I'm gonna choose it. All right then, you better deliver, Travel. You don't if you mess this up or if anyone hears about this deal and I'm gonna put a knife wound on your body for every chip you asked for. No problem, Weston's a dead man. All right, and one more time in case I ain't made myself crystal clear. It's gotta look like an accident or it's no good. I heard you the first time. I'll be back after Weston has his accident. All right then. I expect to hear from you soon and remember travel. You don't know me and we never had this conversation. Word gets out and I'll put you down. Don't worry about me, Bishop. You just make sure you get that cash waiting for me when I get back. All right, now this is important because now I have the ability to go to these rooms over here. At least if I go come through that door, they won't be super suspicious and they'll, like, shoot me. Anyway. And, I guess, next play, next game, we're gonna go kill Weston. Whoever that is. Let me see if I can go through this door if he gets angry. Oh, he doesn't. So yeah, now you can walk through here without getting instantly interrogated. There's a few wall safes, lots of things to steal, so, uh, yeah. Looking forward to the next few videos. Until then, 